Welcome to a video where I shall rank maps in a specific genre and piss off people because it does not match up with their opinion and therefore believe I should be incarcerated. Today, I shall be ranking my top 5 team vanquish maps within battle for Naborville out of a potential 7 candidates who will come out on top. Let's get started. In 5th place. We have Rooney Ruins. This map barely manages to snag 5th place due to it having a few decent sidelines, as well as having some nice visuals in some locations, which does make it nice to look at if you just want to relax. But this is a shooter game, so who actually gives a shit about relaxing? Whilst the map isn't the worst thing to ever play on, it is rather bland, having few sidelines, and generally being rather linear and not having much to offer. In 4th place. We have Rocky Flats. This map is also rather low, but it does place higher for having a few more flank routes available, as well as having some nicer visuals, though the sight lines do make it rather tedious to cross areas like the bridge, or either side, since almost every place can be shot from, so you will have to keep your wits about you at all times, or else you may be shot from unexpected angles. In third place. We have Daisy Drive. Now aside from the fact that this map is essentially just a reimagining of suburban flats, which is honestly kinda cool, this map is quite good, having fairly decent flank options, high ground, as well as low ground areas, which allows you plenty of options to move about and get around the map whilst mixing up your overall movement. Whilst it does have a few long sidelines, as well as trees that aren't accessible to every class, it's overall still a fairly good map. That has a lot to offer, and where most classes can function freely. In second place, we have Colossal Fossil. This map is similar to Rocky Flats in terms of visuals, but is much more closed off and indoors, with fewer sight lines overall. The map also is like Daisy Drive, in having a significant amount of high and low ground areas, which is complemented by the indoor area being rather closed off. Almost all classes can work freely here, since sight lines are still plentiful, but not to the point where cactus and pirates can become extremely oppressive. Overall, quite a good map, with hazards that although barely have an impact on gameplay, can mix things up occasionally. And in first place, we have Pressure Pier. This map honestly just feels like a general map that's ideal for all classes, and works in almost every single case that the game has to offer. It has one side dedicated to sniper sidelines, the main middle area dedicated to general collisions, and usually is where the first main fight happens, and the lighthouse, where it offers high and low ground battles. Whilst this map is just a taking part of a PvE area, with the exits cut off, it honestly works so well, and it is with my firm belief that this map is the best team vanquish map in battle for Naborville. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.